Hello, hello, hello. It's Saturday, the 26th of... I was going to say December. 26th of August, 2017. This Big Bob. Today's word is two. Two. T-O-2, two, that's it. That's all you got, Mr. Bob. Just two. You don't have any big, big dramatic trumpet sound or anything. No, we're in Philippians 2. That's two, like the number two. Different. Roman numeral two. And it says not looking unto your own interest, but also the interest of others. And it might help solve a problem for you today. That we tend to just, you know, and it's, it's I suppose it's normal, it's natural, it's, it's uh, you know, it's the way that the things go. Uh, we, uh, we want to just think about me, 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 me. We've done that before. We've talked about that before. So, well, it's amazing. What's, what's open at 5 a.m.? I get, I get to go out at 5 a.m. today. Isn't that amazing? Nice, nice adventure here. I don't normally get up this early, but <clears throat> I got an assignment early to go, so here I am, on my way. But not looking, un, not looking to our own interests, but also not only looking to our own interests, but also the interests of others. It, it really opens up a, uh, a, a real path. A consideration, a path of consideration, but these words are unusual to me. I don't normally speak in this exact way, but today is an unusual day. Today's the day I'm supposed to celebrate my birthday. 60 years, 60 years, it's been 60 years, hey. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, I don't have any idea. I mean, 60 years and, uh, What can you show for 60 years? Well, I know that I'm much more patient than I ever was. I'm much more stable and, and stayed. I'm not driven by the winds and by the controversies and by the... I've been studying, uh, not studying, but I guess studying 9-11 and the whole debacle with 9-11. And um, been giving me some information that I never really thought about before and never really does kind of make sense. I mean. There's a whole bunch on the internet about 9-11 and about why things happened the way it did. <sighs> Thermine and all kinds of materials. Oh boy, you know, the, the melting down of all the steel and high temperatures and just... Oh man, looks like somebody broke those windows over there. Um, Not looking just to our own interests, but also the interests of others. So, of course, God is another, another. So if we just think about me, 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 then we're not going to consider God in the picture. But once we break it down and we say, okay, I surrender. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my precious Savior. I surrender all we do that, then we're not going to be quite as desperate and driven because we realize that God is God is the devil wants to stampede us, the devil wants to trample us. The devil wants to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil wants to take away all hope. The devil wants to get us to a place where we are fearful and afraid and angry and bitter and rageful and we just act out of our flesh. But the God of heaven gives us grace and mercy and kindness and wisdom. And yeah, maybe a decision we 
we make doesn't seem like, oh, I could never do that. But then the Lord says, go forth. I mean, who would kill their own child? But the Lord told Abraham to take the, to go up to the mountaintop and to sacrifice his son. And he did it. He went up there and he was all set and then God provided. So we don't know what God's going to do with our lives and how we are <laughs> how we are to live today. We need to look at God's word. We need to pray. We need to look at service. And remember there was a saying when I was a kid, I'm third, I'm third. God's first, others second, I'm third. And the spirit of that is absolutely right on. I mean, it's a good spirit. It felt right back in 1965, and it's, it feels, feels right today. The only proviso is, is the course if you're just doing that religiously, like, yeah, I, before I go to the bathroom, everyone else has to go. Yeah, before I can, I give all my dollars away. And then pretty soon you're going to be out of your mind, <coughs> upset, angry, poor, and, and kind of crazy because you have, oh, you've given everything away that God gave you. I mean, God wants us to be wise in our stewardship of the things that we have. Not just to... Now, there are situations where someone loses everything. Fire, flood, disaster, whatever. I mean, and they lost everything. Well, in that case, you know, uh, <laughs> the old case, hurrah, hurrah. You know, we, we have to just trust that the Lord will rebuild and that the Lord has all that. But if... if We've been given resources and tools and talents. I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff in the back that I've got to get covered. And I've not been able to cover it yet. Mama's been having me real busy here working on do this, do that, put this in, take that out. Go here, go there. And there's family, there's family things that we got to do. I mean, yesterday we went to the shoe plantation down in Chino Hills. I hadn't been to the shoe plantation in years. And I was like, wow. The one on Lake Avenue in Pasadena that I went to for years, it was just like stock and standard. And this one was like, whoa, it blew my mind. It was so nice. And uh, people were nice. And the whole thing was just terrific. And uh, brand new, brand new, spanking new. The whole, the whole mall, the whole area was really, really today that we would know what to do in our dilemmas and our situations and that we would consider others in our in our decision making process we wouldn't just think about me 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 but we would consider others consider how what we do affects others and try to be as good a servants as we can be, Lord. We want to be good servants. We want to be good stewards of what you've given us. We don't want to just throw away what you know good gifts you have for us. And and yet, Lord, as we consider other people and how our actions are going to affect other people, Lord, we uh, understand that your Holy Spirit will give us wisdom. And we understand, Lord, that we're covered by grace. If we do make a mistake, Lord, or if we choose wrongly, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There's no guilt. There's no shame. There's no place where, well, I can never forgive myself. No, that's just not true. I mean, the Lord, the Lord will help us through whatever situation, through whatever turmoil, through whatever trial, through whatever heartache the Lord has seen me through, 
I mean, I've been around for years and years and years and years and years. I've been around a long, long time. And I, uh, I can tell you that God is good. God is great. God is awesome. Not God is great like this, this extremist guys, you know. God is great, ha, 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 ha. But no, God is great. God is great and God is able to show us the way. So today on my 60th uh, birthday celebration day, on this Saturday, when life is uh, much different than I would have imagined it last year or 10 years ago on my 50th, I never imagined I'd be in this particular spot where I am right now. Um, Lord, we commit our lives to you. We pray that you bless our lives. We pray, God, that you would help us in our journey with you. And God, we, we give you the results of our life. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you want to call me, give me a call. 213-713-8954. 8954-green-att.net. On the Twitter, Mr. Bob, 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 8954. Never going to get old. The furniture. What about the furniture? <laughs> Uh, and, of course, you're watching uh, me, Mr. Bob, on Bob's Daily Devo here on YouTube. So, it's, it's going to be a good day. I have no idea. It's, 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 it makes life exciting when you don't try to, you know, I know, I, I know, I, I, I know. You know, if you know everything... There's then all the drama, all the excitement, and then you're then you're trying to. <laughs> I, I gotta make it happen. <laughs> People think I don't take things seriously because uh, I'm not all stressed out. And I'm not, but <laughs> when you don't have to try to make life into the way that you want it. Just take life as it comes. Within reason, you know, I mean, don't just sit back and just, well, whatever life, whatever happens in life's gonna be okay. Yep. You know, you need to, you know, I mean, I worked on this logo here for the Casa del Green and you know, there's there's colors and there's patterns and there's, I went through and I nitpicked this guy until we came up with a logo that was exactly right. No, the horses can't be the same color. No, the boy shirts have to be different. No, the cloud back there, there should be more grass right near the beginning here. You know, I went through and I, the guy was like, I said, look, we gotta get this right. This is a permanent logo that's gonna be, you know, living on and on. So he said, okay, okay, I got it, Mr. Bob. So we finally got the Casa del Green logo uh, done. And now it's it's pretty cool because uh, all these years later now, you know, I've got the historic Casa del Green above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, Cali. And it really is, it was like a historic monument. And uh, it was an awesome, awesome place. And uh, it'll never be replaced ever. You know, it's going to be, it's always like, I was there. I, I was. I, I experienced it, and my kids experienced it. And many of you came out and experienced the historic Casa del Green. Many of you were able to be there for the uh, the bonfires and the barbecues and the spa and the movies and the dancing and the tours through the the different areas of the Casa del Green. And uh, I remember going to the shop. That was amazing. So. All right, well, Lord bless you today. I've got to go. My producer is telling me, it's time to go. It's time to go. But go and be joyful. Don't don't be dour. Don't be sad. Don't be down. You don't have to. You can, you can rejoice and be glad in what God has given to us today. We have full provision of all of the resources of God. So go with the Lord. Hold his hand. Give it up to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.